Yo! Here, let me do something here. I don't know if I have to. Let's do it. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. Oop, make the hits. Okay, where is this in here? I can't remember if I grabbed this one or not already. That's not what I want to do. Not there. And then that ends. Let's see. Was that the end of the game? Huh. Wait, really? Oh, interesting. That's the end of the game. Okay. Didn't realize that was the end of the I almost lost the end of the Silent Hill Homecoming bots there. Holy shit. I didn't realize that. <laughs> okay, I can do that too. Yeah, because I shot the UFO ending. Let's do that. Okay. Yeah, perfect. There we go. Okay, at least that's doing that thing. Okay, perfect. Why I looked? Almost lost that. That would have sucked. Okay, let's see. Ba, ba, ba. See what starting from like this will be like. I'm a member of Stars. Puru puru purin, purin puru puru purin, puru purin puru puru purin purin. Classic. <laughs> Yo, big big even the twenty two moves. How are you doing? There we go. Okay, I was like, how do I access my top my uh, my thing here, my flow chart? Okay, so from here then, what we'll do is uh, the obvious thing, because we, we betrayed Fi, because I thought it would be funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got y'all around the same time. At least I know to be around the same time. Which is really cool. But yeah, so we, we we'll end up last stream, because, you know, for shiggles, I, I opted to betray Fi, because I thought, you know, hey, it'd be funny. It's going to be an obvious bad end. Who would do that? <laughs> One minute remains until Abadex game polling closes. I can't remember where this goes after this, what either way. Do? I don't have a choice, do I? I promise. I said I'd choose Ally. Yes, but Fi has six BP if she betrays us. Yeah, she'll have nine points, I know. Right. What do you think we should do, Luna? I... It's your decision, Sigma. I'll be in the same position either way. What? You have six BP too, don't you? That means if we betray Phi, and she chooses Ally... I'm a member of STARS. Wait a minute. This isn't Danganronpa. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Toasty? Thank you for the six moms. <laughs> How are you doing tonight, babe? And yeah, yeah, no, this is zero escape. It's different. 
Then I would have nine points. Yes. You see? In either case, I could end up with someone in my group reaching their goal. Oh, doing good, doing real good. Twenty seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Okay, yeah, that's kind of funny the way Luna, I guess the way Luna puts that. That's why she doesn't have an input, because it's like, ah, you know, no matter what, <laughs> someone's gonna win if, if, if one of them goes to betray. That's kind of funny. That's it. Been sleeping like all day, huh? I hope you're feeling better. We don't have any time left. You have to make a choice. Are you sure this is okay with you? Yes. All right. I turn to face the machine. Ten seconds remain until Ambidex game polling closes. What am I going? What am I going to choose? Nine, eight, seven. I did betray last time. I did it last time, so we can't. Six, five. Yo, what's four, up, Brent? How are you doing? This is impossible. Three, two. It was, it, it was, it was, it was, uh, what, what was it? Was not a smart move, Sigma. Oh, wait, see, there we go. Hey, look, it's showing it. Actually, it's showing you what happened. I won't forget this. I'll make sure you pay, even if it's the last thing I do. Elapsum semel occasionum non ipse potest Jupiter reprehendere. This is exactly what happened. That's crazy. Yeah, so you get to see, big. you get to see your wife. I super pissed. <laughs> Sigma dick! <laughs> <laughs> Doing okay? Hell yeah, Bryn. Hell yeah. Round two of the Ambidex game has been completed. Oh no! Oh no, is that terrible? Results will be displayed in the warehouse. Thank you for your participation. <laughs> the alpha mill uprising, oh no. Ambidex gates. Now, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Lou and I stepped out of the AB room a little later than the others. They were already gathered in front of the projection, awaiting the announcement of the results. You chose Ally, right? Are you sure that was okay? <laughs> yeah, of course. But I did too. You sound pretty sure of yourself. <laughs> oh, it's nothing. It's, it's not confidence. <laughs> I already know. Uh, let's just get let's just go have a look, shall we? Yeah, yeah. So, and also, also now Sigma is uh, more aware of like what's going on and stuff like that with him. He's aware that he can he can jump around. So that's interesting. Oh, yo, hell yeah! See, there you go. Yeah, that's that'll be better than eating the Mr. Beast burger. <laughs> Is it, uh, don't, don't eat the Mr. Beast Burger, kids. Uh, Toasty can confirm, you get sick, gets you food poisoning. You know, I, 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 I believe that, that makes sense, yeah. I, I've always had, like, a solid time there, whenever I've had McDonald's. I've never, uh, never actually had any kind of, like, oh, this is gross, randomly type of thing or whatever. <laughs> well, no, pretty quick, whether I knew anything or not. So that, that makes sense. And make, make gangbangs are amazing. We were just talking about that, so that's funny you did that. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I watched the, uh, the first half of uh, Spy Family with Toasty, because he hadn't seen it before. Results from round two of the Ambidex game will now be displayed. Let's see. I don't have anything open, right? Yeah. It's just Comcast shit in the bed a little bit. I think we're fine. Yeah, that's kind of crazy that you, uh, that it was, like, fine the first time. Please direct your attention to the results screen. You're having our, uh, our waku waku. <laughs> very, very important. Very important part of the, uh, of the experience. But yeah, this, this one, this, oh, wait, what? 
<laughs> what? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, but that's not what happened. Huh? <laughs> that's not what happened. I was getting ready to say that this one uh, made us look like extra dicks because everybody across the board chose ally except for us. But then uh, here we go. F five betrayed us. What the fuck? Points have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. It would have been it would have been cool for them to like done that anyway. Please check your bracelet to see your updated bracelet points. It's definitely a, a really important like Anya character thing that like is lost that way. There, that happens sometimes. I feel like between like sub and dub, sometimes the characters. That's crazy. What? Why? Why? <laughs> What the hell, Fi? Why'd you choose choose betray? You ch you chose ally before. I see. So you remember it too. The other round two. Oh, okay. Is that why? So she thought we'd choose betray again to avoid that situation. Is that what has happened? What? That wasn't even close to the response I expected. It felt anticlimactic. Hey, hold on a minute here. You you know? You remember how I chose betray last time in round two? Yeah, of course. Why do you think I chose betray this time? That's crazy. Don't you remember what I said? That I'd make you pay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I do remember that. Then this is you making me pay? Yes. Wait, wait, no, no, that didn't make any sense. Something wasn't right. How could we both know about an earlier round two? How could there have been an earlier round two? Was it some sort of alternate history? What the hell was I thinking? That was a conspiracy, that was conspiracy theory shit. Even if there was some sort of alternate timeline or universe or whatever, there was no way I could know what had happened in it. No way I could know. At least, I didn't think there was any way I could know. But if I could, then how? I remember Fi choosing Allied and scowling at me when I broke my promise and swearing revenge. That was not a smart move, Sigma. This is crazy! I forgot about this! I won't forget this. Yeah, I did hear, I did hear uh, Dirty in a past life, so I gotta pay. <laughs> I'll make sure you pay, even if it's the last thing I do. Why did I know that? Perhaps more importantly, why did Fi remember it? What the hell did any of this mean? Suddenly I realized that I wasn't alone. I looked up to see Luna, Clover, and Kay. They all began to speak at once. What happened? Why did you choose Betray, Fi? Yeah, you're the only one who didn't vote ally. Fi looked away and scowled. For several long moments, her eyes stared off into the distance. I could also see her mind working. Finally, she sighed and spoke. Right. Well, I've got nine points now. So sorry, but I'm out of here. Oh, shit! Huh? What do you mean? Do I really have to explain it? I'm leaving. Through the number nine door. Hey, wait! I scrambled around in front of her and then threw my arms out. You're in my way. Move. No! I'm not letting you go. What happened to you? I didn't think you were just... You were the kind of person who dissed the rest of us so you could get away. When someone betrays your trust, it feels like a part of you dies. For me, I guess it was the part that cared. Damn, okay, Edgy. Ed Edgelord. <laughs> I don't think you have even the slightest idea what that feels like. Betrays your... What are you saying? Whatever. Just get out of my way. Oh, I'm not moving. I see. Then you leave me no choice. Uh oh. As she spoke, Fi bent down. I just jumped over everybody, then shot up in the air and over my head. I spun around to see her standing next to the number nine door, her hand on the lever. You. Nice try. She grinned and tightened her grip on the lever. Bloody Tay. 
Acta est fabula. <laughs> what the hell's that? It's Latin. Applaud. The play has ended. That's what it means. Latin? See you later. Wait, stop. I felt myself speaking before I even knew what the words were. Hi, is this the cutie store? I see a cutie in the window. <laughs> What's up, Faifu? How are you doing? Not even Jupiter can find a, a lost opportunity. Are you sure this is how you want it to end? What about the nonary game? Zero, the bombs. We still don't know the truth about any of it. We believe now, we never will. Is that really what you want? You're pogging? Fuck yeah! <laughs> Fine. Yo, what's up, Captain? How are you doing? If I slowly let go of the lever. Oh, what was that? What, what achievement was that? I just got one. What was that for? Oh, I opened the eighth lock. Okay. So we, we unlocked something by doing that. That's cool. Or I, guess, or I guess this maybe was locked. Maybe this would have been locked out or something, possibly. I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, yeah. This has a question mark on it, like uh, one of these things. It might have been locked off. Oh, yeah, I want to play that. I want to play Kakarot. Look, I'm sorry about betraying you. I'm honestly not sure why I did it. Forget about it. This time you chose ally and I chose betray. I think we're even. Gonna go to gonna go to sleep, Ifu? Hell yeah! Get all the good good sleeps then. Uh what are you talking about? When did you betray her? Are you talking about round one? No, we weren't talking about round one. We were... Just drop it. <laughs> There's no point. I doubt they'd understand even if you did tell them. That's interesting. I wonder what, what I got information-wise that was enough to, to keep this going. I mean, I guess, like, us going to, like, the left side of the, uh, the, uh, flow chart really helps because we got a lot of information there going into this. So that's cool. Hell yeah. Yeah, you're right. Huh? <laughs> That's what Waifu said. <laughs> Maybe said the exact same thing about K. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, two, two designers got the same idea going. <laughs> hmm? Mm -hmm. I don't get it. Well, at least it seems Phi has decided to remain. You've really changed your mind? Yeah, I'll stick around a little longer. Like he said, I can't leave until we figured out what's going on. The AV game will continue until someone opens the number 9 door. If someone reaches 9 BP and doesn't open the door, the game will keep going. Oh man, that's a relief. Please don't scare us like that again. I'm over her watch so she pay for my load. <laughs> round three of the Ambidex game will be the star round. The star round. Star keys are required to open the gates. Yeah, I love that. That's great. That's like a great decision. It makes sense. There is no set limit on usage of the star keys. As long as you're like sub to a channel, you can keep them with you, and I think that's fucking sick. The Ambidex gates can be opened as many times as the players wish to open them. As many times as we want, huh? And that means as long as you have the star keys, you can play the AB game as many times as you want. You probably won't be allowed to play it continuously, however. There's a period of time between when the doors open and when the polling ends. Based off the last two rounds, I think it's about 45 minutes long. <laughs> so you can repeat the game once every 45 minutes or so? I know there are also, um, 
they're testing out something with like the way that ads will be shown to you. That's another thing they're doing. Playing around with that too. For every really like bad thing they do, they do come up with some, they have come up with some pretty good uh, decisions uh, this year for Twitch. Little changes I like. Another new thing also is uh, I think when you get like raids, you can have a thing where it uh, it like tells you where raids come from, and that sounds interesting. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Didn't Zero Junior say something about that? As soon as the gates close, your colors can all show up automatically. The pair and solo assignments pop around. It'd be nice if that didn't happen, yeah. Oh, yeah. What are your bracelets, guys? Looks like I'm a red solo. I'm a magenta pair. Me too. That means we'll be a team this time. I think we'll do great. Yeah. Hog. Who's going to be my partner then? I'm a cyan pair. They do not appear to be here. I, for instance, am a yellow pair. Huh? Wait a second. If Luna and Clover are a magenta pair, buy and si size buys a cyan pair and Kay's a yellow pair. Who the hell am I supposed to partner up with? A cyan pair, I imagine. Fi and her mysterious partner. How do you figure that? Sigma, what colors are added together to create cyan? Uh, green and blue, right? What color would you get by adding your red to that? Red, green, and blue would be white. Exactly. So you're saying <laughs> yellow that pair. <laughs> be white. Nice and juicy. Yes. How do you know? Because I have seen them. After leaving the archives, we found a warehouse very similar to this one. In it was a set of white doors. Well, to be precise, a set of doors which radiated white light. I saw him too. After we were finished in the garden, we went to the same warehouse he's talking about. <laughs> they had the same little lock thingies. I'm 100% sure they're the next chromatic doors. What about the people back in the infirmary? Do they know about the white doors? Yes. If we exclude Quark from their number, then I believe they do. I wonder what colors they are. As far as pairs go, we're missing a cyan and a yellow. If Sigma's a red solo, then we should have a green solo and a blue solo back in the infirmary. Hmm. Well, I'm going back to the infirmary. Kind of worried about Alice and Quark. I'll go too. As will I. Oh, that's right. Wait, guys. There's something I need to tell you. Hmm? Go on. I mean to say, I meant to say something earlier, but I guess there was so much other stuff going on. Oh, about the other bomb, probably. I looked at Fi. She nodded back. See, the truth is. Wh what? Oh no! You found another bomb? Where? Yeah. In the garden. No. It's not possible. We didn't see anything like that. Could you have missed it? No, no way. We checked every part of that room. Hmm. There was a number on this one too. It said zero one. <laughs> so that's the one we found in the crew quarters said zero three on it. Well. You think there might be a third bomb out there somewhere? I think there's a good chance. Mm hmm. Very well. We should split up and find this other bomb. It could be anywhere. Yeah, I agree. But even if we do find it, what are we supposed to do? That is a concern for later. At the moment, our primary concern should be finding it. You can't fight an enemy you can't see, after all. Precisely. All right, I'll head back to the infirmary and let everybody else know. You gotta find the bombs. Please. 
How about we set a time to meet back here? Just the time we have left until the chromatic doors open is... Let's see... Quite a bit, actually. One hour and 57 minutes. I think approximately half of that should be enough. When we have one hour remaining, we should meet back at the infirmary, except... That sounds good to me. Right. I'll tell the others, too. Good. Let's go. Gotta find the bomb. Gotta find him. Back to Warehouse B. So these are the white doors that Kay and Clover were talking about. Yeah, there's a lock thing. No question these are the chromatic doors, I guess. So it seems. Ah! What? When did you? I've been here the whole time. <laughs> Seriously? I didn't notice you at all. Oh, I guess your hearing's starting to go. How sad. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you want? Why are you stalking me? I'm not stalking you. I just followed you here. That's pretty much the same thing. But how'd you do it? You're totally silent. Are you Batman? <laughs> I already told you I'm not. Remember? Back in the AB room when we met? Yeah, actually. <laughs> I was watching you while you sleep. <laughs> she also jumped high all the way up to the ceiling. Actually, it's kind of funny because because we both we both uh we both woke up in a room together, but uh, she woke up before I did, so she was, she was, she was actually. She was. Graffini? Oh yeah, that. Memento Mori. If the knife lion ate the sun. Did a kid write that or what? Why do you say that? Well, he managed to spell knife wrong. Who pulls an E in there? Who puts an E in there? You're right. And again, maybe it means something. Mm. Do you know what it means? The Latin part. Hey now, give me a little credit. Even I know what memento mori means. You see, it's all over. The, you see it all over the place. As far as I know, it translates to something like "be aware of death" or "remember your mortality." Never forget that we all die someday. I guess it's a sort of cautionary thing. What about the other part? That's exactly what it says on the tin, right? Some sort of condition about lions and suns. Mm. Something come to mind? No, nothing. Nothing at all. What about you? Yeah, there's a, there's a random uh, E in there. In a uh, knife. Me? Huh? Well, let's see. I meant to Mori, if the knife lion ate the sun. Worry if the knife lion ate the sun. I repeat the words over and over in my head, but nothing. Whatever they meant, it was beyond me. But perhaps if I. Huh? Latin? Huh? Don't you know Latin? Maybe you can figure more of it out. Well, I know a little. More than most people, I guess, but I'm not an expert. And how'd you know that phrase? Last since you know, occasion um none. No, it's gonna it's gonna make me try to read that. Oh, I'm not you that. not getting me game. That's from um this. Jen pinned the bridge of her chest as she spoke. I don't doubt to me. I hesitated for a moment, then took it. Look at the back. I turned it over. It's got the same thing on there. 
So I guess the I is pronounced like a J in Latin, huh? Yeah. What is this? A memento of my late mother. Well, I guess it's something like a memento. What does that mean? She died right after I was born. I was raised by foster parents and they told me where the brooch had come from. Apparently it was the only thing my mother had left behind. What about your father? I don't have one. I guess you could say I was a bastard. I never saw his face. And I don't know his name. I don't even know if he's alive. Oh. I couldn't think of anything else to say, so I just handed her back the brooch. That phrase got to be almost like a prayer for me. Whenever I had to make a tough decision, I'd say it to myself. Sometimes I'd just repeat it over and over like a chant. Before long, I had it memorized. Got me interested in Latin, and I started studying the language. Elopsum simel occasionum non ipsi protest Jupiter reprehendere. Not even Jupiter can find a lost opportunity. Sounds nice, doesn't it? But it seems kind of funny now. <laughs> I mean, look at us. We've done what Jupiter can't. We can find our lost opportunities. That's why I followed you here. I thought it would be a good idea to talk to you about all this. Alone. There's yeah, something I agree. else we need to do too, though. Find a number two bomb. Exactly. So we should get going. I'm pretty sure the bomb isn't in here. There's nowhere to hide it. So. You're saying we should go somewhere else? Yeah. Well, come on, don't just stand there. We need to get a move on. Without waiting for a reply, she turned and started and started towards one of the exits. I followed. We've gone stupider. <laughs> the archives. Good place to hide a bomb. Yeah, for real, all these books everywhere. Now, where the hell do we start looking? I doubt it really matters. If it's here, we'll find it eventually. So what about that Jupiter stuff? We can talk while we look. Now get started. I turned to the corner of the room and began to look while Fi spoke. Oh, nice! We got a uh, a song from 999 in here. That's really cool. From the previous game being played right now. I'll start with the conclusion I've come to. Our consciousnesses seem to be able to jump through time. No, sorry. Through time isn't really accurate. It's more like we move through worlds. Worlds? Yes. I don't mean physical planets in this case. I'm talking about a whole different universe, really. Parallel worlds. What? Do you know about the many worlds interpretation? Well, kind of. I think I've heard of it once or twice. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I'll just explain it. Let's say... Hmm. I don't care what it is, but could you move? Uh. Scratch your head, cross your arms, put your hands on your hips, anything? I had no idea what this was supposed to explain, but I did as she asked. Uh, scratch head. Scratch, scratch. Hmm. You scratched your head just now, right? But you could have chosen to cross your arms or put your hands on your hips. Now, maybe there are other Sigmas in other worlds who did all of those things. All of these worlds and realities are branching off from one another. The choices you could have made branched off from the moment you decided what you were going to do just now. Every moment you make a decision, another universe branches off on and on into infinity. Yeah, this is uh, this is where we're really getting into it now, of explaining what's really going on with this game. Each of those branches is an alternate world, a world where a version of you did something different. Haven't you ever thought about what life would have been like if you'd made different choices? What if you'd gone to this high school instead of that one? What if you hadn't started a study group? What if you hadn't told that girl you liked her? What if? What if? But are those what ifs really just what ifs? Or are there other worlds out there where you did those things anyway? That's the many worlds interpretation in a nutshell. I've simplified it a lot. It doesn't have to be human actions though. 
I just used your actions to make the explanation easier to grasp. The actions of a cat, the flight of a bee, the movement of a microorganism, even fluctuations in air temperature. All these can change history. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on a second here. I'll let micro microorganisms slide, but there's no way that air is conscious or of anything. Can you say for sure that you are? What? All of your actions are caused by the cells in your brain. If we go down a little further, then you could say all It's of always the bees. The of atoms or electrons. It's always the bees. Smaller particles we haven't even discovered yet. Are those atoms and electrons still you making a decision at that level? How different are you from the air? I'd say not much. Human existence is just one part of reality. Falling in love is like a tulip blossoming. A tulip blossoming is like a tornado forming in South America. See what I'm saying? The only thing that really matters is the action of the most elementary particles of matter. That's where history happens. That's where universes branch out. You like jazz? <laughs> Hey, you stopped. Are you done with that shelf? Oh, uh, no, not yet. Well, keep looking while I talk. How familiar are you with quantum physics? Oh, we're going into it. Answer that. Really, really getting sciency here. I'll try and keep it simple for you. Hmm. Let's see. Hey, hand me that box, will you? This one? Sure. I hand the box I've been examining over to her. She set it down on the desk and opened the top. Also... Hmm. Ah, there's a stuffed lion over there. <laughs> That's a crazy looking lion. Perfect. He's part of Felide, too. With that, she grabbed the lion and tossed it un unceremoniously into the box. She also took a weed in an ink jar and put them in the next to the lion. Alright, everything's ready. <laughs> Ready? Remember that book in the crew quarters about Schrodinger's cat? It relates to all this stuff I've been talking about. Anyway, come look at the box. What about looking for the- This only take a minute. Now look. I shrugged and peered into the box. What do you see? What are stuff lying? Now on, that's a cat. A living cat. This is important. Got it? Yeah, it's a cat. Meow. Oh, man. This again? Sorry. I can't help it. I find that hard to believe. Ugh. Fine. Maybe I can just ignore it. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. Alright. What else do you see? A weight that's not even a... Not even a paw than a jar of ink. Right. Now the weight is going to be radioactive material. And the jar of ink is full of poisonous gas. What? I'm getting out of here. Idiot. It's not really full of gas. This is just hypothetical. Imagine that it's full of gas. So, what's the weight? Radioactive material. And the jar of ink. It's full of poisonous gas. Exactly. Good work. Now, there's one other thing you need to know about <laughs> Look at the poison at point in Adam, too. That's really cute. That's what more people are staring at. Someone asks how he knew God responded. And mom had me study theoretical physics. I guess at this point, it's just physics. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. If it's struck by any of the alpha particles the radioactive material emits, it'll break. These particles are emitted randomly, but there's a 50% chance that one of them will come into contact with the jar over the course of an hour. So let's close the lid and pretend an hour has passed. Here's the question. Is the cat inside of the box alive or dead? You can't open the box to check. And you can't hit the box. Obviously you can't shake it either. <laughs> it's also been soundproofed, so the cat could be howling up a storm in there and you'd never know. Poor kitty. Basically, you have no idea what's going on inside the box. Do you remember what happens if the alpha particles hit the jar?
It breaks, glass fills the boss, and Cat inhales it, and Death will, will whisk her away. And what if the jar doesn't break? Yeah, it's been it's been really good re like, like watching it. I mean, like watching it for the first time because I've only ever like I've seen like clips of like some funnier moments. Uh, I feel a lot of stuff like in recent years. I think even, uh, but yeah, I've never I've never like sat down and like watched it before, and I'm really happy that we're doing that. It's been so much fun. It's funny as hell too. It, it's, it almost it almost is like I want to like just do that and never watch the rape main series again kind of thing almost but not really not really I do it does it does get me in the mood to like want to like um experience Dragon Ball media like yeah like I thought about like getting Kakarot for example at some point because that'll be fun especially because I know it has a uh, history of Trunks DLC and that sounds really cool because uh, that that's a fun one. I also I also own Xenoblaze Xenoverse 2 and I haven't really played much of it. But I'm also kind of in the mood to play that too. And that that game that's still getting DLC even. It's kind of crazy. The cat lives to tell the tale. Tell the tale. Uh -huh. And what are the chances of either of those things happening? About 50 per <laughs> percent. Uh <-huh. laughs> So, what's your answer? Is the cat alive or dead? I can't personally know. Then guess. It's not hard. Alive or dead? With Bardock DLC? Oh, that's cat. That's that's really cool. Uh, I'm gonna go if it's alive. The cat, the cat is paused for dramatic effect. Oh, alive. Nope, you're wrong. It's dead. That's wrong too. And what's the right answer? The answer is that it's in a state where it is neither dead nor alive. What? How does that make any sense? It's an extrapolation of something we see at the atomic level. We don't know if an atom is spinning upward or downward until we measure it. Before it's measured, those two possibilities coexist. But as soon as the measurement is taken, obviously, only one possibility is the truth. That's what's happening with the alpha particles. Since we can't know when they were emitted or where, we only know the probability that they'll impact the jar. Because we can't observe anything that's happening in the box, that becomes the entire system. In other words, the box is like the atom. We don't know how the cat's life or death situation has resolved itself until we look at it. Until we do, it's just a bunch of possibilities. Do you get it? If the cat in the box is possibilities... Then it's both alive and dead. Right. So, let's open the lid. And when we do, all the possibilities will collapse into a single truth. Meow. <laughs> what a relief, huh? Looks like the cat's alive. Yay, the cat's alive! Anyway, that's Schrodinger's cat. The many worlds interpretation is one theory for explaining that weirdness. So there's another world out there where the cat died? Yeah, that's the idea. Meow. Looks like that cat tick of yours cleared up. Oh no, really? Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Your story was pretty insane. Insane? What'd you, what'd you end up ordering? You don't think so? Just the idea of something being alive and dead at the same time. At the moment the lid is open determines whether or not the cat's dead then. It's almost like events in the future can determine the past. I mean, the cat doesn't die when you open the lid, so it must have already been dead. Exactly. You've experienced it, haven't you? What on earth are you talking about? Think back. Oh yeah, McDonald's, that's right, that's right. Remember round two of the AB game? That's right, you're talking about the McGangbang. When you chose Betray, what was my vote? Ally. But what happened this time? I chose Ally and you chose Betray. Right. And both times, 
I put in my vote a full minute before the deadline. When did you push the button? I prefer the deadline. I see. Well, that makes this a little easier to explain. If you chose betray, then my vote was ally. If you chose ally, then my vote was betray. But I made my choices a whole minute before you made yours. Don't you think that's strange? You do see what I'm saying, don't you? Have my choice in the future altered your action in the past? Yeah. From your perspective, there's no other way to interpret it. Look at this die. I found it over there. Let me give you one last example. As she spoke, she tossed the die into the box and quickly shut the lid. All right. Answer this question. What number is the die on? Uh, we'll go with, uh, we'll go with five. Hmm. It's not five, is it? Okay. I'm going to open the lid. Good job. Oh shit, Pog! You got it right. That was just a fluke. Was it? Huh? Let's think about what was going on before I opened the lid. What number was the die on? Five, of course. Haven't you been paying attention? The die is still a collection of atoms, isn't it? I don't think you can reasonably suggest that it was made of some different kind of matter. Wait, so you're saying that before you opened the lid, the die was, all, was on all the numbers? Uh-huh. That's one way to look at it, at least. And then when you opened the lid, it was just one number? Or... It might have become that number when you declared which one it was. <laughs> huh. Wait, what do you mean? Your choice in the future has an effect on the past. That's crazy. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. We got a little off topic there, but I think I made my point. Reality separates off into an infinite number of branches for each and every possibility. You and I seem to be able to jump from branch to branch. Of course, our bodies aren't doing the jumping. Our consciousnesses just sort of dive into other versions of ourselves in other worlds. Whoa. I think I get it now. That's how you knew my name, right? You jumped in from another world. I tell you knew all those other things you shouldn't have known. Yeah, that's the best I can figure out, at least. Unfortunately, it seems like we don't retain all our memories when we jump. Makes sense. Maybe we only remember particularly important things. I'm not sure how it works. But whatever the reason, it seems to be fairly limited. And often, we don't seem to remember jumping at all. Things will just sort of pop up. That's why when someone asks us how we know X, all we can think of to say is, I just knew. Yeah. What's causing this then? I don't remember ever doing this before, so why would it start now? If we knew that, I don't think we'd be having so much trouble. It's just... Just what? Well, I'm pretty sure it has to do with why we're locked up in here. There's no way this doesn't have something to do with whatever Zero Senior's trying to do. Why would he have left that Schrodinger's cap book in the crew quarters? Hmm. You aren't kitten, are you? Maybe this is some sort of huge Schrodinger's cat experiment. And all nine of us are locked up inside the box right meow. And what if you've got it backwards? <laughs> backwards? We're outside of the box, and the rest of the world is inside. Then won't we step out, out of this yeah, place? we might be determining the history of the world outside. No way. I had a thousand other questions before I could open my mouth to ask them. Oh good! There you are! Did something happen? Yes! We found it! Found what? What do you mean, what? What else could we find? The bomb! The other antimatter bomb! Oh shit! The number two bomb is in the control room! That's a good place to hide shit. Is this it? Yeah. This is one of them, all right. And it's number two, two apparently. Well, at least we found them all now. What if the world is the cat? <laughs> no. There That's exact. That you found it out. You found out the plot twist. Like Kay said, there might be a number four bomb out there. We have no way to know. 
Did you tell any anyone else about this, Clover? Well, um, not really, but uh, I wasn't the first person to find it. Who was? Kay and Luna. After they found it, they came to the infirmary and told the rest of us. <laughs> Who was in the infirmary? Everyone. Tenmyoji and Dio were there. So were Alice and Quark, of course. Although they were still asleep. So everyone who wasn't asleep knows about the bomb. I see. Yeah. <laughs> is there anybody else? To, uh, is there any, there's nobody else here, though. Where'd they all go? Right after we came here to look at the bomb, they all left. They were going to go look for you two. <laughs> what about Alice and Quark? They're the same. Still sleeping. We checked them out just to be sure. But they seemed fine. That's good. Fine, I looked at one another and let out a small sigh of relief. Oh, right. I checked everybody's bracelets when we were in the infirmary. Did you want to know what they were? It took her only a moment to explain. Alice was a green solo. And Quirk was a blue solo. Gio's bracelet made him a yellow pair. And Temioji was a scion pair. So what's our op options for groups? The next set of doors to open are going to be the white doors. That means we'll have to mix our colors so that we get white. Finally, that what what that would mean. Option A: Phi and Temioji scion would pair up with me, red. K and Dio yellow would pair with Quark blue. Clover and Luna magenta would pair with Alice green. Huh? There's only one option? Yeah. Any other combinations don't make white. <laughs> what about Alice and Cork? <laughs> Luna said it's going to be a while until they wake up. We'll just have to carry them. The secondary doors won't open without three bracelets. And if we can't open them... <laughs> yeah, we'll get penalized. Exactly. Don't worry about Alice. I'm on her team. <laughs> Are you saying you can carry her? Yeah. Well, I can get Luna to help me. True. I'm sure she'd be happy to help. What about Quirk? He's on Kay's team. There shouldn't be any issues there. Yeah. Oh, we still need to figure out what we're going to do about this bomb. Alice said we should be safe as long as it's not triggered with the remote. Maybe. But we can't just leave them here forever. I mean, if they go off... Then everything in like a couple hundred kilometers is gonna get fried. Wait, a couple hundred kilometers? What are you talking about? That bomb should only have as much explosive power as a ton of TNT, which is nothing to sniff at. But there's no nowhere near the kind of yield you're talking about. It could be. What if these bombs are just like the detonator? <laughs> Oh, oh! You mean there might be a bunch of more anti anti hydrogen around here somewhere? Yep, right over there. The reactor. Yeah, there are supposed to only be 18 antimatter reactors in the whole world. If that's one of them, then there's a lot of anti hydrogen. How much is a lot? Three and a half kilograms. Three and a half? That's like 10,000 times more than Alice's 350 milligrams. If there really is that much. And if it does explode, then we would be looking at an explosion roughly 10,000 times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. No, that's... that's insane! <laughs> Open it up and blow well, up! How did you know that? <laughs> know what? That stuff about antimatter reactors. Um... Well, that's a... Uh, during my training, they... Training for what? Uh, my job? Ah, of course. I didn't realize the waiters these days need to memorize how many operational antimatter reactors there were worldwide. Or how much fuel each one of these reactors might be storing. You don't work at a cafe, do you? Did you hear about that from Alice? Oh, yeah. Well. She's right then. And why are you using antimatter reactors at a cafe? That's uh what we call the coffee machines. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> what? Are you fucking with me? I'm telling you the truth. I work at a cafe. It just might um be a kind of fake job to divert attention. I think they call it a cover. 
Then what's your real job? I'm sorry. I really can't tell you anything else. Why not? It's classified. <laughs> classified by who? The government. The government? That's right. Alice said it was her job to eliminate enemies of the state or something. So you two do work together. Uh, oh no! Check your bracelets! How much time do we have left? What are you talking about? How long until the doors open? Come on, quickly! We're supposed to meet up five minutes ago. I'm heading back then. Remember, we're supposed to meet at the infirmary. You guys hurry back, okay? Bye! Hey! You haven't... Damn it. Classified by Joe. <laughs> She's gone. Fine. She's right, you know. We need to get going. Hold on. I need to check something really quick. Uh, what? Super classified. Oh, there you are. You're late. What were you doing? Nothing. When he arrived, everyone else was already back. Pork and Alice hadn't left, of course. They were both sleeping sadly. Only traces of madness were seen earlier, long gone. Clover told us. You've seen the bomb in the control room. Yeah, for our own eyes. What the hell should we do? That makes three bombs. Well, we have to do something. They're bombs, for God's sake. There's a quick and simple solution. Really? Remember what Alice said? There should be an emergency deactivation password. If you enter that password, the device should, well, deactivate. You see it? Right here. There's a port. If we can find the password input device, we just connect it here. Then we can enter the password. So, if we have the password, we can deactivate them? Whoa, whoa, hold on a second. That's great and all, but we need that password input device she was talking about. It's a, it's a spe special kind of necklace material. <laughs> Without that, we're still boned even if we did have the password. Not a problem. We've resolved that issue. Huh? Show them. And not and pulled out my pocket.